What is a label? When you deploy your first application in Kubernetes, or even another two or three, it's easy to manage the resources and apply the appropriate commands by referencing their names, for example. But when you need to organize those resources better, or when you want to apply some changes or commands in only a subset of those resources, you need something else. That's why we have labels. Kubernetes labels are key value pairs that can be attached to resources. You can attach multiple labels to the same resource, just like you can apply multiple labels to a particular email in your email web client. Once you have labels attached to your resources, you can use these labels as selectors. You can delete or update all resources with a particular label. And even Kubernetes services use labels to determine which pods are part of a load balancing group. Let's take a look at how labels work in practice. I already have three different deployments, uh, each one of two instances. I have a MyGo deployment, a MyNode deployment, and a MyPython deployment. And now I have six pods. Let's take a look at them and try to list the labels as well. You see that each one of those pods have different labels. So one of the use cases of labels is that labels allow us to filter the resources in which my commands are applied. So suppose that I want to delete the pods and I only want to delete the pods that have a certain label. So how can I do that? I can say kubectl delete pods and I can say that I can want to filter them by this label and the label needs to be app equals to my go. And as soon as I tap this command, you'll see in the bottom of the screen that only the my go pods will be deleted. So I deleted the my go ones and I didn't touch the my nodes nor the my python ones. Most of the times you will apply the labels in your resources through configuration YAML files. But just in case you want to apply them by hand, you can do that also. So let's say that I want to apply a label to my pods, but not all the pods, only the pods of the my node deployments. So I can say kubectl label pods, and I want to filter uh, only the app equals to my node, and I want to create a new label in service equals to OK. And just by applying this command, if I kubectl get pods and show the labels, you see that the pods of the my node deployments already contain a new label in service equals to OK. And what if I want to remove a certain label of my pod? I can do the same. Just as I added the label in service, if I do a in service dash, I can remove the labels of my pod. So let's take a look at the pods again. You see that the in service label was removed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.